on stage at the captain's garden with a single saxophone player in our band. And at this time, we were doing Shotgun by Junior Walker in the All Stores. We were doing material by James Brown. Um, we were doing staple singers music. We were doing Temptations music, which no, none of, none of the white bands around were, were doing any of this kind of music. And as a matter of fact, uh, the Blackberry Boos Band was the only other band that was playing sort of like I mean, really down, dirty, like like John Lee Hooker type music. And this is way before Johnny Lyon came into the picture. And he claims he came in to the Blackberry Blues Band and took over the band, which is totally ridiculous. As a matter of fact, when he joined the band, it got so watered down that those guys said, we're not going to do this anymore. It's, it's taken on a whole different direction. But they were the, uh, the another band that was doing um, like James Brown stuff, but their own version. They didn't have a horn player in the band. They had that, a, a, harmo a harmonica player. But Paul Dickler was an amazing guitar player, just straight ahead, kick-ass tone, and, and just funky rhythm shit, you know. Um, it, was, it was great, but they weren't doing the stuff like that we were doing. They weren't doing, they weren't doing, um, like uh, staple singer stuff and temptation stuff and things like that. And look, this is what the, the music that the people wanted to hear at that time. The, the, the traditional rock and roll was dead. And I'm not saying that it wasn't good or anything, but that's just was that's what was going on. Um, so again, I mean, this is relevant because Bruce. I think was searching for a direction in his sound. And you gotta remember he came from doing a solo, you know, acoustic guitar singer thing to get signed, and then it got bigger than that. Alright, I got signed, now I can take this to another level. Now where am I gonna go with it? And when you look around and see who's turning up for the shows, well there's your answer. He's not gonna go uh, to see, I'm not going to mention any names, but you know, you go to a certain place and see a band playing the old uh, Rolling Stones stuff, and there'd be five people there. And then you'd go around the corner to a quote uh, place where people want to dance to 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 to, to funky West Side of the Tracks type music, and there'd be a lot of people there. There'd be 150 people there having fun dancing and stuff, you know, um, it's, you figure it out, so right there's the audience, where are the girls at, the girls weren't hanging at the upstage, believe me, they weren't there.